are tuned into another Master Monkey presentation. Today we have on the roster uh, Beat Grinder. This is the Master Monkey version of a music uh, production show. Pardon me. Welcome, of course, to any and all uh, new viewers if you're out there. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. You know, I was I was thinking right before this. This is the only show uh, I do that I don't really get quite as nervous for before the show starts. I'm not sure if it shows. It probably does, but uh, on the other shows, uh, I kind of expect myself to be, you know, um, on you know on performance pretty much the whole time. <clears throat> this show, uh, by comparison, is uh, more of sort of hanging out with um, other uh, people who make music, other artists, stuff like that. Of course, you know, if you just like to listen, that's that's cool too. I um, want to let you guys know, I uh, had a little problem with the uh, set right before the show, so we're tempor temporarily using one of the Drone Somnia sets. Um, you won't, you, know, you can't quite see my hands and stuff, and we got the wrong camera on there. At some point I'll take a break and we'll switch to the other, uh, the other view. Um, Let's see, so I was saying the other shows I get I get kind of nervous because I expect the uh, you know the, it's a performance I expect it to be pretty entertaining the whole time, and uh, but this one's all right you know it's okay to to take a break and we we talk some we talk about music production we talk about art production techniques um, I do have the chat up over here so I can see if you come into the chat and you say something uh, go ahead and let me know like if the audio levels are bad or something like that that's always handy. Uh, as usual, I, I like to start with a big shout out to my lurkers and uh, replay viewers. You are among my favorite people. Very low maintenance, and uh, um, I like that about you. Uh, new uh, subscribers and stuff, uh, as you know, um, well, I might have mentioned before, I, I try really hard not to keep track of this kind of stuff, and that's, that's for you, actually. It's for you and for me, because it should be about the art, and it should be about the sound or music or noise or whatever you want to call it. We call it monkey here. It should be about that and not about the numbers, and I'm a very, by nature, I'm a very analytical guy, and uh, so it is very easy for me to just 
get really caught up in tracking charts and graphs and analyzing things. I'll do projections. I mean, it, 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 you know, it's that stuff is all tangential, man, to the art. So we try to focus on that. But, <clears throat> pardon me again. That said. said if you are a new uh, subscriber and you just started tracking my my work um, thank you very much actually I really appreciate you taking taking time to um, look at something new and um, I don't think I'm boasting too much when I say this is new and that is because we have ignored almost everything and uh, hopefully maybe we'll get back to that topic I like to talk about art production techniques and, and um, creativity techniques and I think some of you really like that too, especially the attendees of this show. Um, I, I, I do like to start with a little bit of beats anyways, just because I like to warm up. So I'll probably do some of that in a couple of minutes here. So if you're getting bored, hang in there. Um, I did want to say uh, one more shout out to uh, Mewchine Gun, M-E-W-C-H-I-N-E -E Gun, which isn't really something. Anyways, but so <clears throat> Mewchine Gun, if you caught the Drone Somnia show um, Friday night, was that for, no that's Monday I don't know my own schedule I literally have to check my profile for my schedule which you guys should do so check my profile there's a schedule but uh, if you subscribe you find out about all of the unscheduled shows and there are quite a few <clears throat> the last episode of Drone Somnia most recent episode of Drone Somnia which you can find on YouTube I, I gotta tell you and again I'm not boasting this is I don't do this stuff it's the muse man it's the muse that does this um it was a great show, so check it out on YouTube. It's really starting to edge up to the kind of stuff I've really wanted to provide to you guys from day one. Um, so, and a lot of that's actually thanks to both the inspiration and, and the sound, just the raw um, sonic material that was contributed by Mewchine Gun. So again, Twitch streamer Mewchine Gun has plenty of subscribers, doesn't need a lot of help, still deserves the credit because... Really, if you listen to that stuff, oh, and we're listening to a, a little bit of it in the background, little 15-second snips of it uh, have been making the rounds on Instagram, and they really love it. <clears throat> um, so that that is all owed. Oh, this is a good, we could have a little chat about this, just a real quick art chat. Um, I mean, listen to this. So, so this is what we did with Mushin's voice. <laughs> Okay, so you get that. That's, um, pardon me, I'm going to move the mic a little bit. Okay, now that's that's only a 15 second snip. The rest is, and I'm not I'm not pimping here. Although I have been doing that quite a bit lately. I hope we can get back to that subject. If you like my stuff, by the way, out there, I I've never asked you guys for anything, and and I never will. Uh, we're not going to take donations on here or anything like that ever. And it's not because I'm rich. I'm flat broke. I just make poverty look good. <laughs> that's my little joke. Um, <clears throat> But it's about the art, man. All that stuff could seriously uh, sway the art, and we don't want that to happen, or there'll be nothing left. Um, okay, um, so I'm, I'm not pimping, actually, but you should go check this out on YouTube. Um, Die Master Monkey, of course. I'm on YouTube, Die Master Monkey. And that, from that show, we used, actually, her voice quite a bit. And if you were listening to that little bit, it's only a 15-second loop from the show. I think that one's from the one I call um, Ho Ho Hubbum Hup. Uh, again, that's Ho Ho Hubbum Hup Boo Boo is the name of that song, if you prefer to call it a song. Um, if, I mean, so I mean the, the, the texture, you know, I mean... We're hardly adding anything to that. It's a little bit of drums. It's her voice. Been, it's been chopped up and turned backwards. And frankly, well, you can watch the show, but you know our process. We have a process for screwing things up. And um, the way that her voice was screwed up and 
and <clears throat> and the fact that we added so little means that if you listen to that track and you like it what you're really liking is is the texture and the for lack of a better phrase that the magic that was imparted by that artist by machine gun by her voice whether she knows it or not she might e not even know that these things are in there but they are and uh, they come through they come through in the the in the painter's brush stroke they come through in the little sounds that come out of a person's voice they that's what we're trying to capture in art at least that's my humble opinion that's what i trying to capture in art those things they can't be analyzed it's not like you're going to see it on a spectrograph or a uh, sorry spectrograph uh, like a you know uh, a frequency analyzer you're, you're not going to see these things they're they're complicated they're perhaps there is a mathematical mo model but if there were it would ruin it and if you followed the mathematical model it still wouldn't be the same thing i'm not talking about magic here i'm talking about complexity and chaos so anyways again machine gun amazing magic uh, sauce that she loaned us and we just went crazy with it my goodness i forgot to do the introductions uh welcome to the show if you've never attended before uh, let me introduce you to our co-host uh cowboy mike he doesn't have a song but i think we're working on one right there his job is to make sure we don't cuss on the mic we used to have a girl with no name but she has gone missing so now we have apesma <laughs> you guys want me to do apesma if somebody wants me to do apesma then come into the chat i challenge you come into the chat and say do apesma and i'll do it um, <clears throat> as i said i've got the wrong setup at the moment um the wrong uh, screen layout for this show a little audio problem right before the show so i just threw on the drone somnia set instead but um on a break i will switch to uh, a camera angle that gives you you know good technical view that kind of stuff and uh, you'll see the rest of the equipment and all of that hmm. yeah so let's warm up the fingers a little bit huh if this is your first time tuning in thank you very much um do check the schedule for more information or the profile for more information you'll see there that this is all analog all freestyle um, <clears throat> no midi no planning um, we just freestyle here we improv it's not because we're lazy it's because we like to capture really fresh juice okay so let's have some fun for a while then we'll come back and talk some more hello welcome, welcome to, to die, die master monkey thank you <laughs> Thank 
feedback i know i'm supposed to use the headphones god i hate the headphones though i just hate headphones oh i have a visitor and i forgot um i'm supposed to be social this this show hey uh so over snow um by the way i'm going to i'm gonna repeat for people in the because they don't have it on the screen repeat for other viewers over snow uh asks us if we are any modular synthesizers we totally are but we do not have any <laughs> pardon me we have the micro boot uh, that's like my, the best synth I have access to at the moment. I used to have, oh, there's my hair tie. Pardon me. Uh, I used to have, let's see, synths I've had. Yamaha CS1X, not much of a synth really, but that thing was kind of fun. I remember I had a, uh, a JP8000. That thing is a monstrosity. Uh, was that analog modeling synthesizer? Um... Yeah, I've had that before. Um, what else have I had? I think I had a CZ01. I, I can't remember. Actually, yeah. Um, no, I, man, what I would really like is an MS20 Mini. Man, that thing's fantastic. Um, Moke Voyager? No, I do not have one. <laughs> do you? That'd be so cool. Yes, totally into mo uh, modular synths. I'm a little worried that uh, if I had one on the show, it might be a little boring for the viewers because you guys be like, my God, he's been like playing with that same three patches for three days. <laughs> I need to get very obsessive. Um, Long-time viewers know how obsessive I can be because... And by the way, I wanted to say really thank you to anyone. I've been going back over my old 
uh, stuff, trying to see if there was anything good in there. And uh, I have discovered that there have been there are a few people out there who have been tracking my work since since the since the beginning. Man, and thank you actually a lot, you guys. Wow, what a trip it's been, huh? I mean, it's only like two months, but you know, obsessive compulsive manic. So uh, two months is a long time for the monkey. And man, it is a long ways from Frankie thing, huh? With the finger drumming and stuff. You guys remember that happened like overnight. One night I was like this. And the next night I was... It was like crazy. It's just one bitter, non producing not making any sauce nobody on the internet said hey your fingers are sloppy and that was it man i just went crazy so to the uh pad banging community and the lo-fi community and all of that the reason i've been going around town talking so much smack is because Damn it, I am the fastest. And here's the weird thing. I didn't even try. <laughs> and I'm not even a beat flipper. I just want you guys to know that the fastest, tightest SB on planet Earth is not hip-hop, is not a beat flipper, is not a DJ, is an avant-garde performance artist. And I think that's hilarious. Because we don't get no love, usually. So I just want you guys to know. I didn't even want to be the fastest. I just think it's funny. <laughs> so, score one for the outsiders. <laughs> Let's make some more beats, huh? Or just make some crazy noise. I just need some... Right, did we have enough? This is supposed to be the production show, man. Okay, so there was a show, like, a couple of weeks ago, I think. I don't know. It was a really good show. It was one of these... Uh, It was one of the production shows, and I was on a back bell or something like that. So things got a little crazy. And the microphone was bad and everything, but I talked about a lot of stuff that I really have wanted to tell you guys, and it was important to me. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe I can fit some of that in here. Yeah, there's no point in doing demos right now because you guys can't see my fingers, but if you need a demo, you're like, yeah, hey, I heard you were talking smack. First, go to YouTube, look for Die Master Monkey, and watch the Zima Technical Demo, X-E-M-A Technical. And you watch that, then you can go back. Okay, then we'll talk. <laughs> um, because this is slow. I'm just messing around. Okay, so a couple things. Roland. This SP is only two months old, and all of the numbers have been worn off. If you watch my videos, you'll find out why. <laughs> all I did was use it real fast. Um, anyways, the six pad no longer springs back. The spring is dead. If there is any of my lo-fi brethren, SP brethren out there, brothers and sisters, who know how to restore it to proper operation, that would be great. It still triggers... Um, send me an email, lofimonkey at gmail.com. You find me on Twitter, Die Master Monkey, YouTube, Die Master Monkey. Um, it still triggers, it's just, it's not, it's what I, it's the hats, and I use it for eighths and sixteenths and sometimes thirty seconds. And it just, it, it's, it's hard to explain, but when it doesn't spring back, it's the tactile response is lost, and you, I, I feel like I can't get on time with it, you know? Sometimes I think it's missing, it's missing hits. That's the other pad I'm using. See, so I'm using the seven pad now. Yes, I know. You're supposed to use the sub and not double on 404 on the uh, SP pads with two fingers. So where does it say that? in the in the manual. How come none of y'all ever tried doubling on the 404 pads? What the hell? It's a straight up drum machine. If you treat it that way, you can treat it that way. And I like to because 
It's fun for me, and it's fun for the audience. They like to watch it. This is no fun. Okay. That's like no fun for them to watch is the main thing. And you bobbing your head back and forth to a beat that's already dead, it doesn't change it. It's still boring. <laughs> so... There go my hands again. They just can't stop. All right. What were we going to play with today? I did the shout out. Shout out to my lurkers. I love you guys. New subscribers. Love you guys. Um, it's it's not I, that I don't care. It's that I do care. That's why I don't check. Um, because then we would get all distracted by numbers. And it shouldn't be about the numbers. It should be about providing the best monkey experience that you guys like. I don't know why you guys like it. I'm just glad you do. <laughs> I like it, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy some of you like it, too.
future home. We are not falling into future home. Okay, I'm going to put my headphones on. You guys might be getting the horrible feedback or something. Audio, uh, audio information about audio levels would be good, by the way, if you guys got that. Um, hey, some of that was probably pretty good. I, I never know until afterwards I've told you guys this. I just kind of zone out. It's not me, man. It's a monkey. <laughs> uh, so I go back later, I review, and I'm like, holy crap, that was pretty, that was pretty freaking tight. I'm going to sample that. <laughs> serious that's what i do i'm really i'm building a library on my own beach here and uh then we can use that stuff in the show you guys have seen really there is one example of that entire process all the way through if you watch the uh, earlier shows i think it was maybe 10 20 or maybe 9 20 i don't know one of the shows it was really great it was such a good show and there were so many good uh phrases in it and such uh i i, I remixed it into the trash bag tape uh, the first trash bag tape so you can check that out on youtube trash bag tapes and um it is dedicated to the guy who said i had trashy finger work and it is full of trashy finger work <laughs> so uh trash bag tapes it's actually uh, I, I like it and myself I, it's the kind of work i've been you know aiming for i mean but it's honestly it, 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 it seems to be getting better all the time so um, that's good. I also like, uh, Bitch, I Remix the Kool-Aid. I'm really proud of. I think that's really good. Reminds me a lot of, uh, some of the Drunken Minutemen shows I saw back in Before You Were Born. And, uh, so I'm really proud of that stuff. And I gotta thank you guys for the, a lot of this because you've been a great help in doing these things. Wouldn't have done this without you. Um, kind of pushed me along, you know. Okay, what else did I have on the roster? I was hoping to play with the microbrood a little bit. I was going to sample this. Uh, I found this uh, earthquake earthquake radio, emergency earthquake radio, and it's dynamo powered, so it's hand crank powered, and when the power starts running down, it is crazy. It, it, it tunes in all sorts of crazy stuff. So um, I was thinking about sampling that and playing around with that a little bit. Uh, we might do that. I might do Apesma, that kind of needs some practice, and um, might pick out some new drums. Um, I said, uh, I think uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a break right now, I'm going to find you guys something to entertain you, you know, I never just leave dead air, that's terrible. Um, uh, so I'll find you something to entertain you, and I'm going to take a quick break, maybe five, ten minutes, in that time I will also be changing the scene, the set around. So. The stream may be temporarily interrupted or something. It will start right back up in a different setup so that you guys have a camera where you can see things. Um, again, lofimonkey at gmail.com. Once again, thank you especially to all you new people. Like, seems to finally be catching hold. I might have finally found my audience out there. And, um, man, I just, I, I cannot express how much it means to me that there are people out there who like, like this. It it's just awesome it's awesome it gives me it gives me hope for everything so let's find you something cool to listen to i can always start with the casio that's our go-to right there we go get a little casio action in there Only sounds pretty good just by itself. Huh? I always love that thing. I've always been meaning to start a song with this. I'm going to too. I'm going to. Let's start with this and just let it go long enough for people to go, what is this cheese? And then smack him in the face with something like, you know, bet I remix the Kool Aid sort of thing, like out of left field. All of a sudden, just flood of drums and noise and, and just about the time that that shock is wearing off and they're like okay okay then like hit them with something out of left field so they're like what the hell's going on just keep them on their feet man keep them guessing <laughs> music's become too complacent i'm gonna go to screw your shit up <laughs> that's what our job has always been screw your shit up okay thanks for tuning in um quick break as i said i'll find something to entertain you and then we'll fix the set 
didn't. Welcome to the Master Monkey. Thank you. I just love
Wow, I'm on a D I'm on a DJ looper. It's pretty funny. Okay, well, thanks for that. We are back. Um, one moment. Okay. Um, you know, I've, I've discovered actually. I forgot I have another camera. I think I can just add it and not have to drop the broadcast. So. Um, I'm going to talk about something real briefly while I do that. I hope you guys don't mind. As I said before, I was reviewing some old tapes, and I saw that there was a um, there was some pretty good discussion in one of them that I really wanted to I really wanted to cover. Um, and this is because I think these things are important. I can't get to the new camera from here. It's an OBS thing. I think it doesn't know about the new camera. Um, okay. Well. I'll do that in a minute. All right. Um, I wish I had done this at the outset, uh, at the open of this. Maybe I'll just have to do it again and just keep saying it. Um, outsider artists, I hope I'm getting avant-garde and outsider artists are starting to check this out. and Lo-fi outsiders and stuff, I hope you guys are checking this out. That's really been, been my aim, as you know. I've never asked for money or donations, and I won't. I would like it if you maybe retweet my stuff out there. That'd be cool. That sort of stuff um, is nice. I really just want to get my work in front of the people, like any artist. Um, don't really care about the other stuff. So, uh, but, right, let's see. Oh, wow, you can see the Casio. Cool. Okay. Now, I hope I'm getting outsider artists, lo-fi people, artists, types, avant-garde types. And I want to tell you guys, Get in here, okay? Uh, not just Twitch, you know, YouTube. Streaming. You got a webcam, man. Whatever it is you do, just do it. Um, and it's not its not just for them, and it's not even about the work. It's for you. Because it will really sharpen your game. And I, as I've said elsewhere, I've made progress since I started this that I just didn't even believe. You know? Um, God, that beat is boring. I'm just tired of that beat. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Get out there. Get out there and, and get in front of them. Do whatever you got to do. Put a mask on. Wear a Frank head. Uh, sunglasses. Crazy visuals. Whatever you got to do, man. Um, just do it. So, do it. Do it. Get out there. Stop throwing your stuff over the wall. I know it's how outsiders do, but it's not just for them. It's for you, too. And, uh, and they like it. They need it, actually. The people need it. And I think they're tired of the same bubblegum beats over and over again, too. By the way, you guys, uh, biatches and uh, blunts, it's frickin' bubblegum, man. <laughs> you might as well be singing about, like, beaches and bubblegum. It's exactly the same thing. There's nothing renegade about that. Everybody's smoking a blunt. My grandmother's got a freaking prescription. <laughs> There's nothing underground about. There's nothing renegade about that. You're really just saying, "Hey, look, I'm I'm part of the system. I fit in. Accept me." Is that really a rebel? Uh, sounds like a conformist. Okay. Well, now that I've alienated all of the beats people, <laughs> well, like I said before, I mean, I I I just like I'm just glad that anybody likes all of this, but I'm not can change any of it. I'm not going to. It's going wherever direction it's going. It's been changing a lot and fast. I don't know where it's going to end up, but it's. we're going to let it take its natural course. Um, it's not dubstep. It's not drum and bass. It's not jungle. It's not techno. It's not hip-hop. It's avant-garde performance art. And um, this is a good segue. I did see Laurie Anderson, actually. I saw Laurie Anderson think three times. The first time I saw her I was like 17, I think. And she was doing... What was she doing? The uh, O Superman. O Superman album, that stuff. The O Superman stuff. And man, talk about mind blown. I was totally art obsessed at the time too. Still am. On the intermission, uh, I was standing outside and uh, she came up asked me for a light, a lit of cigarette, and we talked about whether 
as I recall, whether arranging plastic flowers was to be considered like sculpture or something. Something about plastic flowers, I don't know. Um, anyways, obviously an influence role model. Captain Beefheart, huge, huge, huge role model. I just cannot overstate how important he is uh, to avant-garde. And he just passed not too long ago. And we miss you, Don. to do that kind of stuff, and this is a production show. Uh, not a performance show, so that was terrible. Man, I was like reeling from how bad that was. All right, let's see if I can fix the, I'm gonna fix the cameras or something. And you guys forgive me if I remove the scenery here. Oh, incidentally, anybody out there, Twitch streamers and stuff, you're interested in these displays, how these techniques work or whatever, I got a little blurb about it that I wrote up for someone and just send me a, shoot me an email or note on Twitch or Twitter or something like that. Oh, you happen to send you the files, information, whatever stuff you want. It's no big. Um, 
plenty happy to do that anytime. Well, I think I just showed you. There you go. In fact, let's do that. See, what we got here is a PNG overlay with some L. As you see, I just have several instances of that. I have several cameras, two cameras in this set, and uh, two sets of animated GIFs, and uh, with occasional blank PNGs in there. And on top of all of that, we put the overlay, which is the PNG with the, with the slideshow with the... So, I mean, if you go back and review that whole process, it'll make sense. And you'll see, it's pretty easy, actually. The hardest part is just picking out good good overlays that are cool and you know can be used in this manner and cutting them out which is a pain in the butt um, note if you're thinking well why don't you use a color key well you can't use a color key on the image slideshow because it does not have that feature image slideshow for OBS developer please give us a color key feature anyways even if it did it probably would tax the heck out of your CPU so 
I don't do that. You know, I, I can't get the, the technical demo camera up, so I don't think we're going to do technical stuff. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I got to do, though. I was thinking about recording a, a track for the... Oh, crap, the Morsi track's not running. It's on, it's on standby. I didn't record any of that. Oh, well. So if you haven't been on these sh shows before, you don't know. This is the reason there is no chat on the screen and stuff like that is because this is the this is the performance, and this these go straight to YouTube, and the videos um, are are the output. They're the product. Um, that said, it's not the the product that is the important part. And I've mentioned before that in in painting uh, and drawing and stuff for many years. Decades, I think, probably. I just did my stuff, painted. I would paint over it, paint again. I got crusty, throw it away. I'd throw away all my art. Didn't even care. It's not about the output. It's about the process. And the, that is the doing of the thing, is the art. That's the art that's happening. And if you miss that process, you know, I mean, if you see it, then you're like, oh, man, it's good. I was there to observe that. If you don't, then you see the video, and that's cool. Uh, I dig that you guys like the replays, but um, that's an artifact. It's a souvenir of the art. The art itself was the performance. So um, that's, that's what we're doing here, and that's why there is no chat on the screen, and that's why when there is a performance on the other shows, this is not the performance show. Check the profile with schedule information. Um, on the other shows, there is no talking or anything like that, usually, and no interruptions, because you're interrupting. I would be interrupting a performance. Um, influences. The Cocteau Twins. Actually, early Cocteau Twins. Um, not so much the sound, a little bit the sound, but the aesthetic and the art and the avant-garde approach the way the song titles um, match not what the songs are about, if they're about anything at all, or their lyrics, since they don't seem to have lyrics, especially the early stuff, but rather they match what you maybe think you are hearing, or an idea that the song might give you. That's what I like. Actually, I like that whole open-ended approach to music and sound. Um, so... Yeah, good. This was our art chat. Um, so I said before, I had, an, I had an episode of this beat grinder show. Man, I didn't do any grinding. I mean, there was some beats in the beginning, and then a crappy aborted apes. And I was, I was supposed to play with the synth. Um, let's see. There it is. Okay. So, I was thinking about using the microboot for um, sound for Dracula for webcam, which, pimp, 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 which you should go see. It's on YouTube. The first act is out, I think, well, at least the first act rehearsal, although here's an insider tip. That footage is the production footage. I believe I've done it like four times since then, and that's still the best footage. So I'm sticking with that. But, um... I do want to get some new sound on it, some new music and stuff, and I think I might use Machine Gun's vocals, non-vocals. As you can see, they're so mutilated, you can barely recognize them. But as I said before, they're in there. The artist is in there. Even if, you know, even if the artist just makes one scratch on a piece of paper, if you know how to read it, they're in there. Everything about them is in that one scratch. Um, if you really know how to read it, and if they're a good artist, because that's what an artist does, they express it. That's why, like, a simple sketch from Picasso just has so much more gravity than than the, the same sim simple sketch from some, you know, from a, a kindergartner or something. You might go, oh, that looks just like Picasso. I mean, technically, yeah, I mean, if you're measuring angles and stuff, dude, if you're thinking that, you don't, you haven't bothered to learn how to read art yet, um, so... Just like you learn how to read a book or watch a movie, you got to learn how to read art. And uh, it's not about the angles or the lines or the colors. Or it's not even about any of that. It's just about um, a form of expression, of expressing things that don't fit into other mediums. So if you can't find the words for it, um, you can't find the sounds for it, 
you know, I mean, if you can't find the words for it, you can make a painting. If you can't find the colors and the shapes for it, you can make a song. And if you can't find the sounds for it, you can make a painting. You get it? So it's all to sort of express how to break the envelope and go further than it, it should be able to go. So everything about that performer, the, the vocalist, even machine gun, everything about the performer is in that voice. Even if it's off key, which it is not, um, even if it's backwards, even if it's chopped up, it's all in there. And that's why it's so beautiful when you listen to it. It's nothing I did. All I'm doing is picking up trash on the side of the road and recontextualizing it into something pretty. Um, and the only reason it's pretty is because the pretty was already in there. And I'm just allowing it to show itself, that's all. You know, other people thought it was garbage, and I, I didn't think it was garbage. I thought, man, why'd you throw this away? This thing's awesome. I'm taking this home. I'm going to cherish it. I'm going to put it on the bureau and look at it every day. I call it trash, I call it... I call it beauty. How long have we been running? I think I should get this down. I'm getting kind of surreal. This, this show might suck when I review it. I just hope some of you, especially outsider artists, I'm trying to get you guys in here. And uh, as I said, I'm not an expert or anything like that. I'm a noob still at this. Thank you again very much to a lot of the especially established Twitch streamers who took pity <laughs> on me. The strangest, one of the strangest shows probably to show up on Twitch in a long time and took pity on me and were supportive and gave me advice and stuff. Rank Pop, thank you very much, Rank Pop. Huge help. DJ Brad Adams, just knowing that someone with, uh, um, with you know, talent, that much talent and stuff, you know, and um, it, everything, you know, is behind and sees, can you can read my, you can read my work. That means so much. You can read it. Wow. I must be doing something right. You can hear it. It's in there, and you're, it's getting through. So, that means so much. T.J. Brad Adams, Lazy Sloth. I haven't seen him in a while, but early on, he was a helpful mod, kind of accidentally kicked out. Goy MJV. <laughs> Sorry, who we're still doing a shout-out to. Apparently, a long-time long time listener who accidentally got kicked out of the chat. Total accident. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut it down for, for a little while. I might be back later. If I come back, you guys will be pleasantly surprised. Um, you should sub, like I said, and I'm not pimping. There's no donation buttons here or anything. i got nothing to gain from this. Um, but uh, if you do, you'll find out when I come back on later, I'm almost certainly to do that, because I need to finish some sound production for Dracula for webcam. So, uh, and a little bit of footage for Act 3. I think I'm finishing a footage for Act 3, so <clears throat> subscribe for that. Hope you guys had a good time. I'm not sure if we did anything useful. There were some beats, aborted apes, and a lot of art chalk. Man, probably lost all my viewers. Well, just so you know, check the profile. This is not the regular show. Most shows are straight out, either straight out beats and straight out craziness the whole time, or their drone the whole time. That's the Drone Somnia show. This is the music, beat, production, art talk show. So, I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. And check out the stuff on YouTube. Check me out on Twitter, Die Master Monkey. On YouTube, Die Master Monkey. Um, and I really do love you guys. Thanks a lot for everything. Catch you later. Bye. Stay true and stay low.